Moving along, Unilag lecturer attempts to commit suicide. A web report has claimed that the University of Lagos lecturer Dr. Boniface um, a. Benegu, who was exposed in a 13 minutes video by BBC Africa, attempted suicide on Monday. The report revealed that the lecturer was rushed to the Reddington Hospital, where he is currently under supervision. A close family friend has also confirmed that the lecturer was admitted to the hospital after he drank rat poison Sorry. in an attempt to kill himself. In the late hours of Monday evening, Dr. Boniface was found on the floor unconscious with bubbles in his mouth wow. before he was immediately taken to the hospital. According to the documentary published by BBC, the lecturer was filmed making sexual demands to an undercover journalist who had posed as a 17-year-old admission seeker. The lecturer has so far been suspended from uh, the institution and asked to step down from uh, ministerial duties by the church. Also breaking this morning, yet another lecturer at the University of Lagos has also been suspended, Dr. Samuel Ladigbo. All right, gentlemen, this particular documentary has been seriously trending since Monday. In fact, we discussed it on Monday. We discussed it yesterday. Now, this is consequences of what that documentary you know uh, has brought um we really want to really appreciate um bbc mm. and uh, I, I even thank god that those people that are that really worked on that are nigerians and that is a uh, thing to tell us that in journalism investigative uh, journalism is the way to go yes if you really want to need people but the problem there is that investigative journalism is very expensive how many um, stations, how many medium really wants to put money on ground? I did some few few Could weeks be risky ago. Too. Yes, risky. I, I did. I did that. one yeah. about two, three weeks ago. Sorry to button. The lady who actually put <laughs> the fuck, has been getting death threats, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. And um, another since, thing yeah. again is that uh, I did one a uh, few weeks ago. If not because of a private person that really sponsored it, because it took me a lot of time to really do all those that. But but, but the thing there is this. Um, the issue of um, sex for marks is everywhere. In journalism, is there? In education, is there? In private uh, uh, yeah, yeah. is there? In military, is there? Everywhere, it's part of. It's in fact, it's part of uh, the routine, the duties of every sphere of life in Nigeria, and it's very, very bad. But the one of education, what makes it so painful is that those one that you are meant to mentor. I only tell people that people did not even notice. You don't use the, um, the, 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 the happiness of five, three minutes to spoil what you've worked for 40 years. Look for somebody to be a professor in Nigeria. In Europe, to become a professor is not even hard. But in Nigeria, it takes a lot of things. Let me ask you a question, Mr. Dick Benro. I'm very happy you are a lecturer as well. Mm. I could read your mind. Mm. <laughs> Lecturers do proposition students for sex yeah. in exchange for. Yeah, yeah. Why don't lecturers report other lecturers who do this? Uh, one thing there is this. You see in Nigeria, in every association, that is what we call ethics. As much as we have ethics at the forefront, if it does not really offend the other colleagues, in that court, they want to they want to defend it. So it the ethics the, of of your profession, yes. you know, uh, uh, provides no that you offer some sort of in, security in, or safety in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Every board in every association, mm -hmm. we always want to be even what we know. Nobody will want to come and testify because virtually, let's say majority, but not all. Mm. I could say that not all. The, the lot of lecturers we, that we will not even, even students cannot even face us like this. And even if you dress abnormally in a class, I send you out. Mm -hmm. But what is important there is that in this case, I'm very, very sorry for that lecturer. Uh, Yoruba used to say, uh, There are a lot of people that are involved. In fact, as I'm telling you, those, and funny thing is that they don't learn from what has happened. Some people are still doing it as we are talking about. That is the reason why you cannot know the best student through the examination because of some certain things like this. That and, could have gone on. Yes, and because of this professor. Okay. Um, he didn't need to kill himself. Uh, every challenge, whatever you've caused yourself, you have to try to face it. 
although it's not uh, quite easy in, in fact if i want to put myself in his position it's not quite easy but one thing there is that whatever you know how to eat whatever any repercussion that comes out of it you must be ready to really face it mm -hmm. killing himself will not even do a good good will do good but i want journalists too all in all ramifications let us is not only in this line all the hills of our society let us do much more of investigative journalism. journalism and the owners the the uh, the owners of different media should please journalists need much funds to do this there is nothing bbc did that galaxy cannot do I, I, because they are still the same set of professionals, we are all the same. So we need much. I, I could see there is one particular one that Galaxy also did on um, on on uh, how they use workers in Nigeria, how they use workers in Lagos. I saw that clip, very fantastic clip. This is part of what we are really talking about. So every media owner should try to put some money aside for journalists to do investigative. Journalism. Okay, we need that in our country. And I, I want to hear from someone who is not a lecturer. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when the news broke mm. and by the time I saw the video and the gory details kept flowing on social media, myself and my wife had a conversation on Monday night mm. and I told her, I said, this guy is going to commit suicide. I said it. So, like you knew? I mean, I knew because, you know, when I just thought about it, like he was saying, I was putting myself in his shoes. Mm. Like, if this were to happen to me, God forbid, I won't do what is what done. What next? But he is a pastor. Mm. Pastor. Um, with a congregation that sub he preaches dean. to. He's a sub-dean or was a sub-dean. He's a, sub a lecturer. Mm. Now, this is not an accusation anymore. Mm -hmm. There is a video. Mm -hmm. We all saw you. Mm -hmm. We saw you, you know, with his lewd smile. Mm. Very embarrassing, you know, conduct with a 17-year-old girl. You know, what really pissed me off was his sitting position so, uh, in the office. Know, very like, what responsible lecturer sits that way? No, like putting no. religion in false light. Now, so, you know, so I, I looked at all of very that. Very lackadaisical attitude how, to everything. How will this guy face his congregation? How will he face the student's body? How will he face his children his who family. are grown up? They are grown up. Yeah. He has children older than that girl. Yeah. yeah. Right? And I just thought this guy would likely commit suicide. Mm. So when I heard it, I wasn't surprised. Mm. Um, I think that what the guy has done is terrible. Mm. And like everybody has been saying, really, not just him. It's a, it's, a, it's a terrible problem that has eaten deep into our fabric as a society. Sure. So he's a, he's a, he's a scapegoat. Mm. I, I usually am I'm, I'm a compassionate person when it comes to these types of things. I think that the guy needs help more than anything now. Hmm. Yes, he has destroyed lives. Please don't get me wrong. There, there, there are students, there is one of the stories where the lady was saying she has attempted suicide four times. Four times, you yeah. know. So what if she has succeeded? Hmm. He, would have, he would have been culpable for um, a, 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 a culpable homicide. Hmm. He would have been responsible for the death of that girl. So barbaric, everything, but this man is down now. Hmm. I think right now he needs rehabilitation. You know, this thing gets to a point where it becomes an addiction. People need to understand this, that sex is like a lot of other um, activities that Routine. stimulate. Yeah. It's addictive. And I obviously, you know, and I, I prayed the prayer when I saw this. I said, God, help us to be conscious when we are going astray mm. so that we can quickly <coughs> retrace, retrace our ourselves. steps. Mm. This guy must have been getting warnings. He's obviously not the first time he's doing this. Yes. He's, he's a master. Especially by, by virtue of his calling. Of, I mean, yes. clearly, yes. he's a man in a position of authority over yeah. a lot of people. So exactly. it's easy to abuse this. Mm. So, so I, 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 I just feel that he must have been missing the warnings until it became a part of him, a normal part of him, where he's no longer remorseful. So for me, this is he himself is a victim now. He needs help. Mm. He needs rehabilitation. And you don't have to kill yourself. You, the life can continue no matter how low you have gone. This is a low for him. I hope he takes this as an opportunity to reform and mm. possibly now being an expert in this matter <laughs> <laughs> help others. He will know how to help his colleagues mm. that are also doing this nonsense. Trust social media. I mean, they've gone to town uh, and uh, turned the story to beats. You know, he's yeah. now known <laughs> as uh, Professor Cold Room. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> amongst other slogans. Uh, and, yeah. and you know what? Um, this is an um, opening call to all those lecturers, to teachers, because it happened in secondary school too. Primary schools. Primary schools is, is, is an open call.
for everybody that they put some certain people under your care, exactly. either has lower staff before they could get even in church in mocks mm -hmm. where they before they could get promotion in office, you have to sleep with them. We are in, in classes before you promote a particular type, you really want to see the panties and skirts. Even in a tertiary institution, we are a, you will not know a best student. You will not know a best student because all those students they always and another thing again is that students that give themselves out to lecturers too because that is another way that the student as a lecturer you must be you must have some certain attributes you must be able to overlook some things you must be able not to poke most in some certain things you have to close your eyes in some certain cases you have to be strong strong mindedness is one of the attributes that the lecturer should have so that all these things will not even touch well, you and that is the reason okay. why you see some certain students when they are talking themselves they will say ah that lecturer don't go don't even try him don't even try if you want to kill yourself just go and offer him money then you see the rot of him or don't even try to dress shabbily to him or else he's going to send you out they know the slams you are going to get out get out of my office and this is a kind of thing that's why you see all those lecturers that will tag as sadists they don't normally fall into this because he, to go and meet them is another thing and they will give you the time you are going to meet them. If you don't come at that particular time, forget it. Mm. And the situation, this staff club, staff club is good. In fact, it's good where lecturers can relax, you can, but at the same time. Oh, you mean the cold room? Mm. Uh, okay. Every, virtually everybody normally <laughs> have staff, <laughs> staff quarters. But one thing there is this, I don't see the reason why students will be also be going there. Mm. I don't I don't see the reason why but one thing there is the lecturers take them there now. We know we know but there are some certain students too <laughs> that normally throw that offense. Yeah, sure. okay. But one thing there is as a lecturer, people see you as a role model. The lot of people look up to you. And that is the reason why uh, my former doctor, Dr. Shino I know will say that examination is not the true test of ability mm. so not in all cases where you see <laughs> well uh, said. first class is going to have this okay all right a lot of messages are actually coming in it's a a, a, a sad development and uh, of course it's still a developing story yes, so. because the <laughs> university of lagos and the university of ghana the two institutions in this documentary are actually on their own carrying on investigations and any lecturer found culpable you know of these accusations you know of course we know what's gonna happen but uh, this is what we need at, at this time. Let's begin to name and shame those people, you know, who will not allow Nigeria to move forward. That's coming from